Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome. Hello. My name is Muhammad Ibrahim Abdi. I would like to explain um, this article. The name of this article is Bavalency of Gastrointestinal Parasites of Somali Black Heat Sheep. The scientific name of this is Over Ovis Arise. The area was two districts in Mogadishu, Somalia. The two districts are Wadachir and Karan districts. The demonstration have, has been done in the Jopke University School of Agriculture and Fitness Science, located in Izoba near the Hotel Shamo with the district. My name is Dr. Muhammad Ibrahim Abdi. Again, I introduce you myself. I am a veterinarian specialist in animal health. So I would like today to explain briefly what I have in, got in my research. So First, I would like to introduce what the issue of this research was. This is uh, the plan that has yearly done by the university, which has based on uh, motivation of students and seeing the, uh, the fact is the, the reality of information about the existence of the uh, disease surveillance, prevalence of that parasitic in the region. So let's go, let's go. First section of this article is introduction. The introduction is the type of sheep that has Somali have is totally different to the other breeds of sheep that got in, in, the, in the other world. For example, Somalia has a specific breed of sheep which is known as Somali black heat sheep. The name is, it has black heat and white body. The feature of this sheep is black head and white body. White body, the tip of tail is short rather than not long as Arabian sheep, but the base of the tail is flat, fat deposit, which is uh, more common than other when compared to four other sheep. Thus, still, there is no research as I present in this list of common parasitic on shamal sheep. In Mogadishu, there is no another research article that has been discovering these common parasites. So the main objectives of this study was to determine bivalency or existing parasite, gastrointestinal parasites that common on Somali sheep in Mogadishu. So that's the aim. The second section. Is literature view. As you know, the parasite, mostly gastrointestinal virus infections, is a major health problem in the world. Particularly, nematoda infection is affecting the health of million people and animals. Not only animals. There is a parasite that can transmit to the human, which is commonly known as a zoonotic diseases, causing huge economic loss in livestock farms and causing diseases and death for many people in the world. Some small ruminant parasites have directly related to the human, as you know, that can be seriously affecting for human health, which is known as zoonosis. That's the aim we have uh, expect to get it. The third section is methodology. The methodology is the way we have been organized our research. So the first part of this methodology section is start design. Mostly we have only have the aim of to explain the parasite existing in the region. So we have mo mostly descriptive research using lab technician for study of currently common gastrointestinal parasite of sheep in Mogadishu, Somalia. The time was from January 2019 to April 2019. That means four months in duration. The target population was 90 Somali black sheep taking the fish into a laboratory to check their positive or negative parasitic infections. But we have never took all nine 
out of that we have took 73 of them instead of 9th so 73 of them have took samples instead of 9 so 9th is our target but the sample size we have been get is uh, 73 numbers the study area the study area was Mogadishu particularly two districts the Karan and Wetir most of the districts are common for uh, and household small holder farming household small holder and goat clearing which are common in that and but so our issue is only we are focusing we are focusing the sheep parasitic diseases so that the area we have just uh, and selected for this the third section of the battle of methodology was study population is local somali black hill sheep there is a variety of hybrid but not common but we have just looking somali black hill sheep is a common scientific name of this sheep is a, always a rice the breed of this name is a somali black hill sheep the sample collection researcher has collected sample of fish from somali black hill sheep the center collects vehicle samples at rectum using plastic gloves, as you know that. We never took a um, fecal, drop it with the soil, but we are focusing to take fresh sample from rectum. Temporary store in fecal container, after that we transport it to the lab. After 12 and hours later, we have and demonstrated that, and we have demonstrating the examination of parasite. So the examination of sample as internationally we are using cobrological cobra examination which include method directly smear of vector examination as mentioned by Jonas Kaufman in one in two in two eighteen. But we've we, we have made literally simplifying for it. So if you are need the reference of this article you can back my reference here in the last section. So that the result of this article in table one, we are explaining, comparing three parties, destructive sex of tape and positive barbalancy using a table known as cross tabulation. Cross tabulation. So each district is I wrote total number of each destructive. I wrote the positive number of each destructive and compare number of male positive and number of female positive in each district. As you see, this is total district number. 73 is total sample number. The positive number is 61, which is means 83 percentage or 83.6 percentage. So the first district I've got 36 which equal 49.4 percentage. And the second district he got 25, 34.2 percentage. So total 61 percentage. Okay. And the male positive number in the district of Karan was 17 or out of 27 percentage this is the, the actual number this is the percentage number as you know as you see this is the actual number of positive this is a percentage number of positive like this so 73 17 up to 19 totally will be equal 36 positive or 27.87 and 21.15 percentage will equal 49.4 so you can calculate it all of all we have like that so the male positive is 31 and female positive 30. The second table is how many mixed parasites in positive samples. That means one sample, it's possible to got to get more than one parasite. So in current 24 samples have mixed positive. In whether 19 percentage, 19 sample sorry 19 sample was positive samples 
our as a percentage 32.9 26.1 totally which means 59 percentage okay. prevalence of nematoda so we, we now we are mentioning the parasitic names and the, the destructives that have had this parasite take it lactocolus is a as you know lank worm and sheep and goat we have only one parasite, the strongloides. We have a lot of parasites, each district. The common were the six number, while the other two, one and one. So you can calculate this is a male, this is a female. This is a male, this is a female. So total lectacolis, one percentage. Strongloides, eight, one point six four percentage. This is a 13.11 percentage. Tricolus. Only Karan we have seen. So the sample two and the percentage 3.28 percentage. Homologous like that 22 percent is a more number when compared to the others. And the second part of nematoda is track strongless, it's 10 percent, 10, 22 sample, 10 sample, 36.6 percentage 16.9 percentage Termatoda and cestoda and protozoa Termatoda is fasciola cestoda is monazia protozoa is coccidia so fasciola only one distractis have seen like with a chill distractis monazia all of all male and female mostly are combined eight and eight with a chill and distractis for male Nine and three for female. So total percentage of monosia is 28 number. Which is greatest from the nematoda. Greater than from the nematoda. Coccidia is 39 percentage. 39 samples. 63.93 percentage. The highest parasite is coccidia. The second highest number, monosia. The third is Hormonitis and four is trichostrongulus. So discussion. This study investigated the prevalence of gastrointestinal parasite of Somali sheep in Mogadishu, Somalia, with sample size, as I told you, 73 sample size. The overall prevalence, that means the overall prevalence of parasite, gastrointestinal parasite is 83.6 out of 100. That means 61 sample were positive and 12 sample were negative of gastrointestinal parasite. Also, it's mixed parasite infections have more than two parasites in one sample. For three samples were mixed, and for three samples were mixed with 59 percentage. In the present study, coccidia species, protozoa, monosia, is the first parasite of the highest number is coccidia. The second parasite is Monusia termatoda. The fourth parasite is Homonychus nematoda. We are found to be the superior parasite recorded in all 61 positive samples. So, finally, I recommended the following points. First, animal owners must get full awareness of about how to control gastrointestinal parasite in themselves and the animals. The second, animal owner must learn how to treat regular diseased animals, regularly diseased animals. Three, animal owners must feed in his animal good folder and clean water to prevent that parasite. Fourth, the government and other international agents must make regular deworming campaign to reduce the prevalence rate of parasites. Fourth, five, the government and other international agents must establish disease surveillance system to detect new cases in high number. As a researcher, I advise it to the other researchers to make a study anti-parasite resistance of sheep to identify reasons sheep has more parasite in his GIT tract, and also try to study perception of animal to study perception of animal owners 
on gastrointestinal parasites effect and why they're not giving priority for it. I acknowledge and I would like to thank first Director of Jokke University, Professor Abdaziz Aghani Abdesamad, an academic director, engineer Muhammad Hassan Taku, and admin and finance, Mr. Abdullah Aghani Abdesamad, researcher also, and I would like to acknowledge the whole university who funded this study. This study was made possible through help of our students graduating the year 2018, 2019, who have studied medicine at Jokke University, like I mentioned their names, like Daoud, Palestine, Leila and Fatima, thank you for that. If you have an uh, interesting full reference, you can visit my article in IGSR, International Journal of Research. You can visit for it. And my profile is as you said. Thank you. Thank you for that.